How is it going guys? This is Peter with another Guild Wars with Finally the anniversary event is over and I can continue the solo farm guide series. Nostalgia level is over 9000 for me on this farm because one of my very first vids was about Nolan Academy and I have been farming here on my elementalist for years. Okay so let me show you the, the most important data about this place. First of all, I'm speaking about only hard mode now, uh, because normal mode doesn't really work it. This farm is quite easy, especially as an LA, but I believe any of the professions can do it just slower or riskier. About the drops, I can tell you that uh, you got unit golds, tomes, runes, etc. The total profit is somewhere between 25 to 35k. And elementalist is the number one of the professions. Okay guys, uh, now a few notes about the enemies. Uh, it's a big group of char, like 20 or 25 mobs and the char boss. You get one boss randomly and can be ranger, monk, LA, necro or mesmer. A necro is the toughest, uh, it has some HP uh, dungeon skills, uh, but otherwise none of them is too strong and quite easily uh, soloable. Here you can see the elementalist equipment, builds, skills, attributes and all this stuff. Uh, you need Earth Magic plus 1 plus 3 headpiece, a staff of en enchanting, uh, the best Vigor rune you can afford and the rest of the runes is quite optional. You can focus on more HP or on more energy, it's up to you. So after you hit enter mission in outpost called Balthazar Spirit, the, this skill will take care of your energy. Uh, skill number 1 and number 2 are Armor of Earth, which boosts your armor by a lot, and Stone Flash Aura, which reduces damage. Uh, as an LA with these two skills you can't really die, as long as you maintain them. Your source of damage is Sliver Armor and Ebon Battle Standard of Honor. And the elite skill may be new to some people, it's Glyph of Renewals, a smart little skill uh, to instantly recharge Sliver Armor. Uh, then we have I'm Unsteppable, uh, don't worry if you don't have this, Word of Stability works as well. And you also need some sort of healing. Uh, I had a dilemma which skill is the best, uh, eventually I choose Glip of uh, Restoration, but Aura of Restoration or Elemental Lord are good choices as well. Uh, once you have Balthazar Spirit activated, uh, go to the lever, uh, clicking on it will open the gate. And at this point you have two options. First, uh, if you are in learning phrase, just tap at the corner, put on your enchantments and kill the char with level armor and the ebon ward. But if you are experienced, don't stop here, but uh, go out of the fort. This will bring additional groups of char uh, and you know more mobs uh, means more drops. You can even activate sliver armor while moving, this way the char will have some lowered HP, uh, ergo they will drive faster when you boil them up, and if your HP is low just use a glip of restoration and go to the gate, uh, the gate should be on the char's left side, this way they will stuck, and then you can start killing them with sliver armor and uh, weapon battle standard of honor. Uh, I forgot to tell you, I am steppable should be used when you see Meteor Shower, otherwise you don't have to use it. And uh, and yeah, you can stack the warriors like that. Uh, when the warriors are dead, focus on the boss and on the elementalists and leave the rangers for last. You can even ball the rangers up if you move backwards. Another thing, and this is true for any farm where you, you are looking for uh, gold items, if favor is activated, so if you have favor, you get a lot more unit golds. So favorless runs yield around one unit gold per run, but if we have favor, it's like two, three, four, sometimes five. 
Okay, guys. So let me show you other professions. Uh, dervish is is probably the quickest of all, if you don't uh, count the additional spawns. The problem with derv is that they can die quite easily if you don't use the build properly. So put on all your enchantments and start attacking immediately. This is important because uh, you have intimidating aura on you. Uh, ergo, if the mob's HP is lower than yours, then uh, you can reduce a lot of the damage. But once your HP is lower than theirs, uh, you are in trouble. Uh, this is quite a classic Wall of Strength build uh, with the help of the Ebon Ward. But uh, otherwise, if you use it uh, properly, you can kill uh, the boss group and the smaller chars in like 120 minutes. Okay guys, let's move on. The next one is the warrior. Uh, similar to the derf uh, in a way that you ball the enemies at the corner. Uh, with the help of Define Pain, Doyak Signet and X Mastery skills, you can kill the Char Warriors first, and then focus on the coasters. It's it's quite an easy build. You have a ton of armor, a lot of damage reduction, and you are very tanky. Next profession is the Monk. This is similar to the Ele Elementalist build. Uh, with the help of Prod Spirit, Shielding Hands and Shield of Absorption, uh, you can solo the Char Bosses and the Char Mobs, just like the, the LA did. The only cons is uh, HP Degen can kill you, since uh, you have to be 55 or, or 105 HP. But otherwise, this is quite a uh, fun build. So the next one is Ritu on my list. Uh, this is a hybrid. Bench uh, who was Kanhai and uh, 105 HP Rit. Um, with the help of Prat Spirit skills, you can survive uh, those few seconds when the Elite is on recharge and the uh, Pain Inverter helps to kill the boss. Next one is a classic 55 HP neck with Spite Full Spirit. You can even kill bosses with Pain Inverter and uh, as you can see even the Necro boss is no, not a problem with the help of Healing Breeze. Uh, now we have Mesmer. This is very similar to the Elementalist build, except uh, Mesmer is missing some attribute points in Earth Magic, but you can solve this with Signet of Illusions to have 16 in uh, Earth Magic. And the last profession uh, on my list is the Assassin, which is quite tricky because you kill with re only Radiation Field and uh, the Ebon Ward uh, and since the warriors have white strike you have to use deadly paradox only in the last uh, last microsecond when you activate shadow form otherwise the warriors will remove it before you could uh, recost your elite and sorry guys that uh, I haven't used any clips of Paragon or Ranger. Uh, I guess they could also solo just lower than the others, either with Prod Spirit, Shielding Hands or with Shadow Form. Paragon I, uh, could maybe burn them to death uh, with uh, those burning shouts. And Ranger may, may could use out Whirling Defense uh, if the Warriors are blinded. Uh, or maybe Snowstorm and Ebon Ward or something like that. Anyway, I will put all the builds, all the information 
what you see in this read into the description. And as always, thank you very much for watching and subscribe to my channel if you want more Guild Wars reads and see you in the next one.